you can hear Krista all right. Talk. Perfect. All, all right. right. So get How in your it? chair. How about it? Or somewhere where you can sit and still see me. So we're going to do my normal. It's kind of becoming a normal warm up right now. We're going to start at the top, work our way down. So sit up nice and straight. And all I want you to do is look side to side. So look right. Don't twist around, just your neck. And then left. And back right. We'll do like three or four of each thing we do to get warmed up, maybe five, because we know how well I count. Then I want you to look up and down, way up high. Stretch out the front of your neck, and then look down at your belly button. And back up high. There, I got it unmuted. Somebody's unmuted. Uh, figured out how to do it. The microphone in the bottom corner. Look for the microphone on your screen down here and click on that. Okay. Now I want you to just shrug. So put your shoulders on your ears and then relax them down. Shoulders on your ears and relax them down. Shoulders on your ears, relax them down. Now you're gonna roll them. So I want four backwards. Four forward. I hope everybody is doing well. I miss you guys. Now you're gonna alternate roll them. So roll one backwards and then the other backwards. You're just doing four. Now four the other way. Now again, stay on the edge of your seat and all you're gonna do is your right leg. Pick it up and step out. Point your toe the way you're stepping and then back in and up and out and up and in. Uh, Four-ish, give or take a little and then we'll do the other leg. Left leg, up and out. Oh look, I have too much stuff. Up and in, up and out, up and in. Stay tall so you're not slouching while you do it. Nice and tall. Now, feet, I want you to do walks. So, we'll start just by alternating, lifting our toes. Let me turn sideways, you might be able to see me a little bit better since I have two chairs and I can flip from chairs. So you're lifting your toes. Now lift your heels. We're starting off easy, just to kind of give you a heads up. Now I want you to alternate them. So left toe up, right heel up. Put them down, right toe up, left heel up. A little bit of brain training early. And just keep alternating. Because it usually takes me a minute to get this one. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you can't see my feet, but I'm glad at least you can see me. I'm glad everybody is here today. I am very glad everybody's here today. Couple more. All right, so now we're going to have clock. Three minutes. Can you go start my clock for me? Yeah. I want three minutes at 60 to 70% cardio. You can do whatever you want. You want to run stairs, if you have a bike, a treadmill, sit to stand, squats and throw your arms up. I want your heart rate to 60 to 70% exertion. So you're breathing, but you can still talk to me. And if that means running in place, and go ahead, my clock has started, so go ahead and start. Whatever you can do, I want your heart rates for three minutes. Go do what you gotta do. Because then you're gonna get a little break when you're done. So three minutes at 60 to 70%. Start slow and work your way up to get up to 70%. But I want you nice and warm. Because what we've got next, just remember it's really good for you. And I'm glad I can see everybody moving. I'm gonna come in close. You're gonna get a really close up view. Look at this, you guys look great. 
Nice. Sister needs to mute herself. Sister Mary Jo needs to mute herself. She oh, muted the stand. Okay, keep going, guys. You have one minute down. You get two to go. So I don't care what you do. You can do butt kicks, lunges, high knees. If you do high knees, swing those arms. Swing them big. Again, I want your heart rate up. I want you breathing. You might even break a little bit of a sweat. That's the idea behind this. I need you going. You know, squat. Sit to stand. You can sit. Throw your arms up. If you're feeling good, jump rope. You're halfway done. And again, three minutes. I need you breathing today because our next round, you're going to breathe really hard too. Welcome to boot camp. Okay, so sit to stand, whatever you need. You now have, oh, just over a minute left. But do things again. I'm still able to talk to you. I'm not doing it for a solid three minutes either, but whatever you can do to keep moving. Whew. Hey, we're almost there. So side steps, they're good. That'll learn, teach you to keep your feet wide. You throw side steps in, throw some arms in. I keep fading out of the screen. Let me move all my toys out of the way. So I'm bound to determine to step on that. All right, where are we at? Oh, you get 30 seconds left. Anything, you can do anything for 30 seconds. Possibly not hold your breath. <laughs> Keep moving. Anything you can do to move. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, you're done. Get a drink. You got about a minute to get everything back. Take a drink, take a swipe if you need it. And then I want you to get your lightweight. We're gonna need that for this next round. And just one. You'll need a little bit of room to move, but not too much. You can also use your chair. So let me turn the chair sideways so you can. So about 20 seconds, I want you breathing. Breathing well. I hear it. We're gonna do a little bit of opposition. So again, your lightweight, whatever you're using. Soup can, brick. As I said, Campbell's makes the best condensed soup. That's a perfect weight. All right, so what we're gonna do, let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a clean and press, but lift the opposite leg. So if the weight's in my right hand, clean and press, everybody knows what those are. So you're gonna do a clean and press and I'm gonna lift my left leg and down and up. I want 15 of these. You know I don't count. This is easy. You can do it from a chair. So if you wanna sit in a chair, stand up and lift, or you can just sit and lift. But you've got 15 each side. Make sure when you squat, your bum is below your head. So you're not doing this. You're down and up. Oh, I think about three more ought to do it. And then we're gonna make it easy. Switch hands, switch legs, 15 again. So you're down and up, there's one. Whoops, see, two. Three, try and get that weight as high as you can get it. Don't shorten your range of motion. Good. And again, use anything you can use for a weight. Here we've got opposition. We've got balance. Now to make me breathe. When you get to 15, don't worry, there's more. <laughs> 
Oh, let's see. I think I've got three more. We all know how well I count. Now, grab your weight, whatever you're using, in one hand, and we're gonna do kettlebell swings. So, it's a dead weight. Swing it down. Look how I'm pivoting. I'm not bending. My knee stays soft. You're just swinging. So you're pushing your hips forward. Push. The weight is just a dead weight. You want 15 of these. You can hold it this way. If you had your gallon jug of water. Wonderful weight with a handle. It does wonders. If you are seated, edge of your seat, touch the weight down and swing it up shoulder height. About three more, give or take a little. You want to keep your back straight. Your pivot point is your hips. You don't want to get it above your shoulders. This is, if you notice, this will bring your heart rate up. Okay, a few more. You gotta be close. Because you're gonna go back to your single weight. And all I want you to do, I'll show you from the side. Watch my feet. I'm just gonna come up on my heels and do a bicep curl. Now, for people that this is too easy, one foot. So I come up on my toe, one foot. This really will get your balance. You're having to engage your core, but make sure you come up on that toe as high as you can. If you are seated, bicep curl and come up on the opposite foot. Oh yeah, 15 each side. If you are doing it seated, stay tall. Standing again. This is a tough one. Once you've got 15 in, it's just gonna be easy. Switch arms, bicep curl, calf raise. Your calves will know you were here today. So from the side, I can show you my weight is going all the way up, all the way down. Don't skimp your movement. You want all the way down, all the way up. Ooh, let's see. We gotta be getting close to 15 because my calf is barking at me. Now, I'm giving you 30 seconds because we gotta go through all of that all over again. Obviously, we're doing endurance and opposition today. Balance always. So, you've got about another 20 seconds. We're gonna start back with the clean and press with the opposite leg. So, whichever arm you wanna use, again, you can do them seated, however you wanna get this done. But I want you breathing, because our next round gets a whole lot of fun in it. So when you're ready, start. I'm starting with the weight in my right hand. It just makes it easier for me. Clean and press, lift your opposite leg. Down and up. Get that knee high. Your head stays above your bum. So you're not trying to put your head down. No, down and up. I think that's 10 for me. You've got 15 each side. Two more. And then you just switch. Weight in your left hand, down, and I'm gonna lift my right leg. Back up a little. There we go. And again, from the side, down, up. I 
I think I have five more. Doing this in a chair, it's the same thing. Up, up. One more. Whoo, nice work. I'll give you a couple seconds for everyone to finish and you go back to your kettlebell swings. Use your weight, your jug of water. Sideways, your hip is your pivot point. Here, not here. So it's down, up. When you stand up, squeeze your bum. Seated, you have 15 of these. Just take your weight down and come up. Your pivot point is still your hips. Your back stays straight. Oh, about six more. I'll let everybody finish those up. You know what's next. Make it to your difficulty level. Challenge yourself. So I have the weight in my right hand. I'm gonna come up on my left toes. Up and down. If you're sitting, do your bicep curl and lift your left heel. So it would be here, here. I don't know how well you can see my feet. I'm probably tiny. Stay up straight if you are seated. No slouching. Tall. Once you've got your 15 in, you're just going to switch sides. Come up. Weights in my left hand. I'm coming up on my right toes. And yes, I'm putting both feet down when I come down. This is a big balance move. And if it's easier, you can put your leg in front. I don't care where the leg goes, it's staying in the air. Five more. Oh. Again, we know I don't count. Once you've got all 15 in, we're gonna stretch our calves. So set your weight somewhere. If you have a chair, that's great. If you're in a chair, it's just like stretching your hamstring. Legs out straight, toes are up. If you can get to your toes, pull them back. If not, do the old runner stretch. So I'm stretching my right calf. I'm in a tandem stance and I'm leaning forward, keeping that back heel on the floor. You should feel it here. And my calves need it, they're not happy. And you hold it for just a little bit. Stretching should feel good. And then you'll just switch sides. So again, if you're seated, switch legs. Oh, wow. All right, now you wanna get your medicine ball or your single weight. We're gonna be, we're starting on our feet. I'm gonna get a medicine ball. And again, you can use your five pound weight, three pound weight, whichever you have. If you're using your weight, grab it with both hands this way. Because that's more medicine ball like. So not this way so much as this way. I want your feet wider than shoulder width apart. We almost had a crisis. We're gonna do wood chops. You should be very familiar with wood chops. So let's take it down. I'm touching my left knee up over my right shoulder. Now let me get this way so I'm more on the screen. So down and up. I would rather have you look up when the ball goes up. You have 15 aside. So from the side, it's here. 
and up. I'm standing up tall. And again, I don't count well, so I'm gonna leave that up to you. And then you'll switch sides. So you go down by the right knee and up over the left shoulder. And really extend. If you don't have a weight, clasp your hands. Bring them down and up. Seated, you're doing the exact same thing. Down and up across and look up. As your hands go up or the medicine ball goes up, you get a nice rotation. You're activating your core. You're gonna need that. So I don't know how many more we've got. Your next round, David's infamous functional lunges. I love these. I will show you a seated version, but I would love to have everybody standing to do these. So medicine ball or single weight, or your hands are clasped. You're gonna take your right foot and step forward. So you need a little room to move forward and back. Step forward, touch your foot if you can. If you cannot, touch your knee. And then that same right foot is gonna step all the way back through. And I'm gonna to touch my left foot. Only my right foot is moving. Seated version. You're just gonna alternate your steps. So right foot step, bring it back. Left, tap. You're always tapping in front. Okay. Oh yeah, you have 15. This involves balance. Give yourself a big gait. So I'm stepping all the way through with just my right foot. This will take you a minute. If you haven't noticed, today's got a good bit of cardio in it because of our big movements. We're doing balance. Opposition. Whew. Couple more. And then you're just gonna switch sides. So I'll show you if I was using my hands. Whoops, let me step back this way so I'm in the picture. My hands are clasped. Step forward and touch. Left leg, all the way through and touch. You notice I stand up in between, so I'm not here, I'm not slinking, I'm up, down, up, down. And you can see I'm kind of falling side to side, so it's working out my balance. I'm gonna look, you're gonna get an up close shot. Oh, you guys look great. Step and touch the front foot, step all the way through and tap the front toe. A lot of bending in today. And you've got 15. So I was on my left foot, tap, all the way through and tap. Left foot tap, all the way through and tap. As you finish up, get a drink. Because what's next is balance and opposition again. And if you're like me, I'm winded. I'm breathing, so get a drink. If you need a towel, take a swipe. Whatever you need to do. You've got about 15 more seconds. I'm grabbing a drink. Coffee, elixir of the gods. Okay. So, a few more minutes to get your drink. Yeah, I should be all right. Just sneak in there, stick your face in and say hello. Okay. Jackie's gonna say hello. That's gonna buy you a few more seconds. Few more seconds. I love you guys. Jackie. Y'all look fantastic. Krista's killing you. I'm watching. I don't I'm not participating. So I'm headed out. Krista's now. enjoying it. She hasn't lost her her sadisticness, is that what you call it. <laughs> All right, so the next move we're gonna do, I call it a rocking horse with a wood chop. So this is gonna to be tough. Seated, I will show you a seated version. So here, I'm gonna be kind of in a tandem stance. 
So one foot in front of the other. You can have them wide, as close as you want to make them. You're going to be moving. So as I reach back, I touch my back knee. I lift my front leg. Then as I come forward, I lift my back leg. Front, back, front, back, seated. So here, have one leg back just a little bit. Tap the back foot, lift the front knee. Tap the back foot, lift the front knee. Yes, you have 15 of these. Whew. Because, oh yeah, we got to do the other side. Here, you're engaging your core. You're really engaging your core. Whoops, here. <laughs> Call me out. Couple more and you're just gonna switch sides. So, again, tandem stance. I touch the back leg. Lift the front knee. I can even do this standing up. Lean forward and up. So from the side, front knee, and I can be upright. And back. Front knee, back. Again, this engages your core. Wow, I don't know how many more I've got left. So let's say five, four, three, so I can still see you guys. Two, one, you can lose your medicine ball. So since our heart rates are up and we are breathing, breathing fairly well, I wanna do some walking. Perfect walking, so you'll see me a little bit. I'll kind of fade in and out of the camera. But with the heel strike and walk. This again, my head is up, my chest is out. I'm swinging my arms, I'm heel striking all the way through. You can't see my feet right now. I'm doing it backwards because that's all the space I have. So if you take three steps forward, Turn around and reset. Make sure those three steps are great three steps. Don't forget to swing your arms. If it's too easy forward, throwing backwards. I kind of think of, what is it, the Charleston? That'll make your arms get involved. I don't know any more than that. So you've got about another, let's go 30 seconds. I want you walking. I want you tall when you walk. Chest out, head up, swing your hips. That rotation of swinging your hips helps your balance. I'm being melodramatic, overly dramatic, comical, however you wanna put it, but you know, do the catwalk. Anything you can do. Whew. This is also going to bring your heart rate back down because we're going to be hanging out on the floor quite a bit. That's how we end our class today, kind of, sort of. Don't believe everything I say. All right, so you've got about 10 more seconds and then I want you to get a drink, grab your lightweight and or your medicine ball, whichever you have. Let me make sure I can set up on the floor here and I will show seated versions. Let's see if I can get my chair a little closer so you can see the seated versions better. There we go. See more of me than you wanna see. All right. So, you can use your jug, your medicine ball, I don't care which. I want you on the floor. I know I'm tiny, but can you see me okay? Wave or something. Okay, I want you to see all my body parts. <laughs> there, that looks a little better. 
All right, so we're starting off with one of my favorite, 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 favorites, dead bugs. So I'm gonna show you all levels of this before you decide what you're gonna do. Dead bug, here, opposite hand, opposite foot. So my left foot goes down, my right hand goes down. Then I come back to the beginning. So this is difficult. If you can't, you can bend your knees. If holding your legs up is too hard, same thing. I just slide my left foot out. My right hand goes over my head. They come back to the beginning. If you can't hold your legs up, put your feet down. Slide it out and in, out. You notice the other hand is not going down. That's the key to this, keeping it square. Starting from the beginning. You have 15. We've probably done, oh, let's say three. Seated. You are lifting your opposite foot. So if I was seated, I would straighten my left leg. Keep going. I'll show you a chair version. So I would be here, and I would slide my left foot out and raise my right arm. Bring it back. Slide out and up and down. Oh, 15, in case I haven't told you that. Challenge your brain. It is full of fuel. Make sure you control this movement. I like the chair version. But again, we're working on opposition. This is pretty difficult to do. It's just an upside down Superman or bird dog, depending on what you call it. Once you've got 15, stay on the floor. <coughs> Pardon me, please. Because we're gonna go back to the basics of basics and I will show a seated version. So keep right on going. I want you to do roll-ups. Everybody can do a roll-up. I want you to have the weight to do it. So I will use my medicine ball. Roll-ups, all the way back. Medicine ball, roll up. I want to get to my toes, as close to my toes as I can get. There's 15 of those. Seated people, scoot to the edge of your seat. Relax your legs out. You're going to lean back. If you have a weight, take the weight. And then come forward. And if you can get to your toes, fantastic. If not, get as far forward as you can. So I'm gonna get back on the floor, seated, keep doing this. Because then it's gonna get a little bit harder because I really haven't taxed your brain yet. So we have yet to do that. Whew, and yes, we are doing it on the floor. Oh, what, maybe, let's do five more, just because we know I count so very well. Oh, one more. All right. Now we're gonna do the backwards of the dead bug. So you're gonna be laying flat, seated. Again, I will show a chair version. Your hands are out wide, wide, wide. If you want to use a weight for this, you are more than welcome. I'll show you with a weight. You're going to take your opposite hand to your opposite foot. So I'm going to roll up and look what I'm touching. I can do my knee and then back out flat. Roll up. You can do it without a weight. You can do it with a weight. You notice I'm rolling up onto the opposite elbow. I'm not trying to sit all the way up. Seated. You're on the edge of your seat, you're sitting back. If you have a weight, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. You're gonna come up and then you're gonna come forward and try and touch the opposite foot. If you cannot, go for your knee, but lift the knee up. Back and up. This is how you wanna do it. Oh, by the way, you have 15 aside. 
Welcome to boot camp. So get your 15 each side in and stay on the floor or in your chair. Because I said I haven't taxed your brain yet. I've got to tax your brain. Make your movements big. This is not a speed drill. I want your full range of motion. So back on the floor for me. I'm just going to switch hands so you can see it from a different angle. Hopefully you can see me. And I'm going to roll up. And again, I'm just rolling up to my opposite elbow. Can't touch my toe, go for my knee. Fifteen aside. Make your movements big, make them count. This is really a great core work. It's also good for rotation, opposition. We're gonna make your brain go whoop whoop, thank you. And I want these to be the best movement you can give me. This is for you and for me. You guys are wonderful for my psyche. So make sure you get 15 each side and stay on the floor. Hopefully you can hear me and know stay put. If you need a drink when you get done with these, you might want one. Because your brain again is gonna get taxed. And I forgot how much fun it is just to tax your brain. Oh, and someday soon, I can see you all do it up close and personal. All right, so we're going back to our original dead bugs. So to show you, here, opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay, easy peasy. You can do it with your feet on the floor. I want the motion as big as you can give me, but here's the catch. As my left foot slides out and my right hand goes up, I'm gonna count up, let's say, by fives from the number three. So left foot out, right hand overhead. I said fives from the number three, so I'm gonna start with three. My right leg goes out, my left hand does not, I don't say anything, left hand up. Back to the beginning. And I said up by fives from three, so my next number is eight. So when my right hand goes over my head and my left leg is out, eight. Back, switch sides. Thirteen. <laughs> Opposite side. Eighteen. So keep counting up. Count loud, loud. I can't hear you, but I want to see your, your mouths move. Woo. So I want you to count up by fives from three. Let's go to 40. Uh, somewhere around in there. When you get to 40, we got more stuff to do. Because we're going to add on to this move. I love this move. It works your core. It works opposition. It taxes your brain in several ways. For some people, it helps if I tell you it's an upside down Superman. So you're just here doing this. But you're laying on your back, which is a different perspective for your brain. Beautiful. So we got the counting down. I think you should be pretty close to 40. If you want to take a minute to rest, that's okay. Because next, we got we to gotta engage both sides. I love the alphabet. And I love the alphabet backwards. So we're still going to count. When my right hand goes over my head and my left leg comes out, I'm going to make this a little easier. We're going to count up by threes from two. So two, and then when my right leg goes out and my left hand goes up, it's the alphabet backwards. Z, by three from two. Five, Y. And again, you notice I had to count a little in my head. Take your time doing this. Let's get to the letter L, counting backward, or alphabet backwards. I'm not worried about counting up. I want you to get the alphabet backwards. You don't move until you know your next movement. So I'm starting. Oh, I forgot what I was going to count up by. X. 
let's say two, w. Two, five, y, uh, seven. <laughs> X, nine, I don't know what my count is. W, X, W. So if you see, this challenges me a lot. I want you to work hard at this. Your brain's gonna be, I can't do this. Yes, you can. You take your time. You take your time. You don't move until you know your next movement, your next number, your next letter. I want your brains to be very, very tired. And we're having so much fun on the floor. I mean, the safety is you can't fall. You're working your core, you're working your brain, you're strengthening your arm and your legs. You're taking control. Part of this is taking control. Make sure your movements are huge. I don't want anything little and choppy. Nope, I need them big, big and bad. We gotta be getting pretty close. Cause then we just got a little bit more exercise on the floor. Little bit's a relative term. <laughs> this is boot camp. I see some good movements. The one I can see look great. The rest I see a lot of curtains. And that's okay too, as long as you can hear me and you're moving. I want you moving. Because then you know we got to get our heart rates up one more time. And we're going to do it on the floor. You people in chairs, well, we're going to do planks. So you know how to do a plank on a chair. If not, you'll hold your legs up. That'll be a plank. I need to be where I can see my clock so that I don't make you guys hold it longer than necessary. So as you finish up, hopefully your water is nearby. Get a drink. Take swipe. We're back on the floor. I'm getting a drink. Seated, I will show you chair versions. All right, let me see what I've got here. Oh, you guys look good. All right, get your drink. You're gonna get back on the floor. We're, we're gonna do planks. I'm just gonna tell you we're gonna do planks. I'm watching. So you can do it on a chair, on a countertop, against a wall. I don't care how you do it when I do it. I'm gonna to have to be watching my clock, so I gotta make sure I'm somewhere where I can see the clock. Now, the key to planking. In a chair, wider feet is a wider base. I want a straight line if you can give me. If not, you can hold your butt up a little bit. We haven't started the clock yet, all you overzealous people. <laughs> or you can do it on the floor. On the floor, you can be on your hands, feet, on your elbow on your knees. The key is to kind of have a straight line from your shoulders to your heels. All right, so we've got, we're gonna do <laughs> three sets, 30 seconds, 15 seconds off. So I'm waiting for my clock to get to a point so I don't lose track. I will do it on the chair because then I can see you. All right, everybody, up in your plank. If it's easy to hold, put your feet really close together. If you really wanna make it challenging, Pick up a body part. So pick up a foot, pick up a hand, whatever you need to do. 30 seconds can be a long time. We're just past halfway for your first round. Even in a chair, it is tough. Three, two, one, rest. You've got 15 seconds and you get to do it again. So I said three rounds. This will get your heart rate up because I know it gets mine up. I'm heavy. All right, in three, two, one. Everybody up. If you wanna add a tap, you can add a tap. Lift one leg up. That makes it really, really hard to hold for 30 seconds. Whew. Okay, you're halfway. And make sure if you feel this in your low back, lift your butt up a little bit. It's okay. Keep your tummy tucked in. 
That'll help brace your low back. Down, two down, one to go. And then we get to the really good part. We get to stretch. I'm gonna take a little longer time stretching because I'm sure we are just not doing enough of it. And I love stretching. All right, get ready. Up, hold that plank. However you can hold it. And if you're in a chair, you can go down to your elbows. That's okay. Ooh. We're almost there. You're halfway. This will be the last plank you do with me today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating. Okay, you're done. Whew. So those that want to can stretch on the floor. You can stretch in a chair. Any way you can get there to stretch. Don't care how you do it. Stretching should be comfortable. Ah, it might be a little uncomfortable, but it should never, ever, ever be painful, ever. So on the floor, I'm gonna show you on the floor and then I'll whip out a chair and show you the chair. My favorite base stretches, I'm gonna add on to these, but these are my favorite base stretches. I'm on my back, my knees are bent. My heels are pretty close to my butt. <coughs> Pardon me, my hands are at my side, palms up. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my knees to the right. I'm gonna to look to my left so you all can see me. And then I'm gonna take my left hand and slide it along the floor until it's over my head. This opens up this full left side. Stay there. If you are seated, you can turn. So I'll turn towards you. And then I'm just gonna lift my arm up or put it behind my head. This is also gonna stretch this. If I wanna add a little more, twist. You wanna feel a pull, not pain. If you feel pain, take a smaller range of motion. So I'm gonna be back on the floor. I'm right here. I want you to take that left hand and slide it down to your side. And as you rotate sides, rotate your head and knees simultaneously. So my knees are going left, my head is going right. I let everything relax. Make sure your jaw's relaxed. I take my right hand up over my head. And again, the key to this is relaxed. Relax your jaw, relax your breathing, feel that stretch. This stretches the rotation, it opens up, so untightens the front side, you're up tall. Breathe into it. My back cracks every time I do this. Now, my right hand's gonna come down to my side. I'm coming back to the center. This one, love this stretch. Excuse me. The soles of my feet are gonna touch. My knees are gonna go out wide. Those that can, put your hands over your head or even lace them behind your head. Seated. What I have people do is just spread their knees as far apart as they can go, sit up really, really tall. Put your hands behind your head and lean back. Look up. You're gonna feel a stretch here and all the way up your front side. Again, don't clench your teeth. Relax your jaw. Let your body relax. You don't force this stretch. You let your knees fall naturally as far as they'll go. Doesn't matter how far. Get your stretch in. Oh. Oh. Straighten your legs out. Try and get your toes pointed straight up, not off to the side, not down. People that are sitting, I want you to sit back in your chair, feet flat on the floor, and you're sitting up tall. You're relaxing your hands on your thighs. People on the floor, you're laying flat, legs out, toes up. 
what I want you to do, people in a chair, all I want you to do, this is gonna sound funny, squeeze your butt, oh, and then relax. People on the floor, I want you to push your heels down and squeeze your butt, and then relax. Whew. Push your heels down and squeeze your butt. This is stretching the back of your legs. It's engaging your bum. It's stretching your calves. Seated, you're just kind of squeezing your bum. If you want to add on a little bit, you could probably scoot to the edge of your chair and push your heels down and squeeze your butt. Do you notice I sit up a whole inch taller? Keep going. I want to do five or six of these. Hold the contraction for a slow count to three and then relax. And again, I want five or six of these. You'll feel this in the back of your legs. Oh, oh, so you just lay on the floor. Beautiful. All right, roll over. People in your chair, I'll show you a seated version. So I'm gonna roll over. I'm gonna face the camera so you can see my beautiful face. I am watching TV, so I'm on the floor. I'm on my elbows, my head's up. You can have your feet together or a little farther apart. I prefer them pretty close together. And try and look up. If you can, even stretch yourself up a little bit. Open that front side, seated. You're at the edge of your chair, you're leaning back. Lean back. Do not fall backwards in your chair. Lean back and look up. You're gonna feel this all the way down your front side. That's what I'm going for. Now a lot of us are sitting a lot. We need to get up and move, move. And this opens that up and makes it easier to move. All right, let me get back down here. Pardon me. One more. On all fours. Make sure your knees are under your hips, not back, not in. My hands are under my shoulders and I'm spreading out my hands wide. Should be a great palm stretch. Cat cows, great stretch. I drop my head, I drop my tail. I push my back up. There's a mad cat. Then I relax my belly. I perk my tail up, lift my head up. Big and slow. This stretches all the little tiny muscles in your spine, the big muscles in your spine. It opens up your front side. Get your big stretches in. Awesome. All right, so if you want to, stay on the floor. People in chairs, sit there. Two minutes of bridging, meditation. Get your meditation in for the day, and I don't care how you do it. Lay there, get yourself comfortable, sit, get yourself comfortable. If you're sitting, don't slouch. Laying on the floor, make sure your palms are facing the ceiling to keep that shoulder girdle and chest opened. All right, I'm starting my clock. So two minutes, you're going to see me disappear and I will be back to check in on you. I need a drink of water. Thank you. 
All right, everybody wake up. All right, I am going to unmute you so that you all can talk to each other um, since this is how we're communicating right now. Visit David's website, Ziddy's Total Health Works on YouTube. He's got all videos up there. I guess I'm up there. I'm funny to watch. <laughs> 